In this video, we want to tell you about the updated version of our application for auto services, Auto Repair Cloud Shop Cell. This app is going to become the heart of your work process thanks to the following special features. The app is always at hand wherever you are. Fast access to all data concerning your shop. Tracking repair process and task performance. Full replacement of paper inspections. Maintaining contacts with customers. And conducting payments. Let's take a closer look at the updated version of our application. The Auto Repair Shop Cell application is optimized to work in the network with low internet connection. This allows you to receive instant access to necessary information. The following features are available in the app. Assistance, adding a new vehicle, inspection and diagnostics of the vehicle, spare parts ordering, tracking the repair process, receiving payments, chat section to communicate with customers, and configuration. Now let's look at each feature in detail and see how it works. Let's begin by adding a new vehicle. Go to the Receive a Vehicle section. Add the new customer and vehicle. Add the new vehicle. Add all necessary data manually. You can also add or modify all data using the web version of our application. Whether you are in your workshop or in your customer's garage, you will receive access to all Auto Repair Cloud data. This means that the service center will be able to help after adding information about customers and their vehicles. To search for a customer or vehicle, use the following search tools. You can use the search function or license plate recognition. Search or recognition of vehicle identification number code. Search by phone number. Search by email. Meanwhile, we have received access to the vehicle data and noted that some information was missing. But as we already know, this data is very easy to add. After the data has been updated, we can finally start the repair. Press Repair Plus button to create a new repair order. It would be too easy if the customer could diagnose his vehicle's problems. It looks like we have to find out what problems the vehicle has. To identify the problem, it's necessary to add an inspection. Press the Inspection button and select one of the templates previously created via the web version. Such templates allow technical specialists to receive time and cost estimates for diagnostics in advance to get rid of paper documents and save all necessary data in the cloud. Put the check marks next to those test results that have already been performed. This form is typical for the United States. If you do not have it, you may use this form and mark the fields as tests are completed. Green square means that the test passed successfully. Red square means that the test did not pass and that vehicle repair is required. After the inspection of this vehicle, we found exterior body damage. We need to mark this. Press body damage, then mark damage location, select damage type and add description. If you open the added marker, you will receive access to the tools for adding files including pictures and videos. Press plus media to open media panel. 
plus add description button will allow you to add camera shot. The edit button is designed for editing of file name and description. You can save the important information about your concerns using the following buttons. Press plus add button in the concern field to create new inquiry. You will have access to the same image and video downloading tools as in the other inquiry types. We must present this important information for invoice preparation in the shop. Now we need to conduct vehicle diagnostics. We shall perform it using onboard diagnostic, also called OBD2. Using a special adapter, we will be able to perform vehicle diagnostics and detect any problems. Important. The diagnostics feature is only available on tablets and phones, iOS and Android devices. Web version allows you to check only completed diagnostics. Let's take a look at how this works. If you don't have OBD2 device, you will need to purchase one. We can recommend use proven adapters. You can see them in the web version of our application in configurations under technical in the OBD2 subsection. Here is the list of adapters that we tested and can recommend. The Carista Bluetooth adapter has proven to be very reliable. It works on both Android and iOS devices. You can purchase it on Amazon and it does not cost much. You can choose any adapter that you like. You need to connect OBD2 adapter to the corresponding port of your vehicle. For iOS, it is enough to simply turn on Bluetooth. For Android, turn on the Bluetooth and add the device to the list of devices remembered by the phone. If you want to learn more about your adapter, read the instruction manual. Upon setup completion, Open the app, go to Configurations, open OBD2 tab, and press OBD Devices button. After you found your device, turn it on. Now we can add diagnostics. Go back to Repair Orders. In the OBD Diagnostics section, press the Add button. We can see five kinds of diagnostics. Freeze frame, snapshot, live data, smog check, and diagnostic trouble codes, or DTC. Let's take a closer look at these diagnostics. Let's start with freeze frame. Freeze frame is the list of system parameters recorded at the moment when a problem occurred. Press Start Diagnostics button. By studying these parameters, you can identify time, temperature, crankshaft rotation speed, load, and vehicle speed at the moment when the problem occurred. This is a standard list of parameters and their values must be recorded. Now, let's select the live data diagnostics type. Live data is the type of data you can obtain in real-time mode. Select Live Data Type of Diagnostics and press Start Diagnostics. Select the required parameter and click OK. Now we can check Control Module Voltage Data in the real-time mode. You can view the data stream on the go. It might be very useful to watch how onboard electronics of the vehicle reacts to various manipulations and what live data readings are at the given moment. Let's check out Smog Check. Select Smog Check and press Start Diagnostics. We will receive Smog Check data of the vehicle. All information received during OBD2 Diagnostics is saved. It is also available on the web version of our application. You can watch our video Auto Repair Cloud OBD2 Diagnostics feature, updated version number 2, to receive more information about its performance. 
The technician adds new inspections and diagnostics to repair order. A, te a technical specialist can also add new requests for repair to the new repair order, take photos, record videos, and make notes to explain the problem to a customer. While we are working in the field conditions, the service writer estimates labor expenses and is looking for the necessary repair parts. The web version allows you to do this faster and more conveniently. The mobile app does not support such actions. You will have access to a wide range of functionality features in the web version, such as estimates, technical documentation for repair, parts ordering, and etc. After the service writer finds the required parts, the shop will contact the customer for approval. You can use chat and messages for contact. The chat and messages section is located in the current repair section and in the main app menu. You need to select how you want your message to be delivered. By email, via SMS message, messages to the app chat, or using push notifications. You can also choose one of the pre-filled message templates in the web version. After the customer approves the required parts for the vehicle repair, the shop can proceed with ordering the approved parts. Let's check if the required parts have arrived. To do so, go to the labor tracking section and select a current repair. Under the parts tab, you will see the list of parts and their condition for the current repair. It looks like the parts have been received. It's time to start the repair. This is a very important and useful function, meaning that you can edit the actual work time spent on this vehicle. This time will be saved in the future, and if you ever have a similar repair task, you will see how much time was spent on it. After completion of all works, or if you press Complete All Labors button, the repair will be completed. It's time to pay the bill. Our application supports PayPal and Square payment systems. To receive payments, you will need to install the application for one of these payment processors. You can download the payment applications from the App Store or from Google Play. After installing and setting up the app, you need to enable it in configurations. After the app has been installed, go to Credit or Debit Card Payment section, select Required Repair, enter the amount and complete payment. After you have completed these steps, you will see the payment form. Click on Make a Payment. You will receive payment for the repair. Despite that auto repair shop cell is intended for use with web or tablet versions, it can entirely change the work process of your repair shop. Specifically, it can speed up the process of adding customers in vehicles and help get rid of unnecessary paperwork as well as to coordinate repair process outside of the repair shop. Use the assistance function to understand how this app works. At the first stages of using the application, the assistance function will help you to add new customers and accept new vehicles for repair. Run inspections and diagnostics, track labor and even receive payments. You can also communicate with your customers in a more efficient way. Thank you for watching the review of our updated RRC Shop Cell application. We try to make it more convenient and easy to use. If you think this video is useful, click like and subscribe to watch other videos and stay updated.